Welcome to the next episode in this series of short video tutorials on how to digitize with Singer's Professional Sewwear Deluxe Embroidery Software, known as PSW Deluxe. My name is Tanya Owens, and I will be your guide through this series. This tutorial focuses on embroidery settings. This video was initially created for the sister application, Stitch and Sew. The features are the same in PSW Deluxe, and where they are different, I will annotate on the screen. The embroidery settings are essential in creating good embroidery designs. They contain settings that govern how a shape will be filled in with stitches. These settings can be modified to compensate for the type of shape it is and what type of material it will be sewn on. You can access the embroidery settings from several places. If it is accessed from the digitizing menu, it will affect anything that is being created or is created from that point forward. If it is accessed from the lettering menu, it will affect the letters on the screen at the time. If it is accessed through the edit menu, it will affect the object that is currently selected. You can access the embroidery settings from any of these menus by right clicking and clicking on embroidery settings. The embroidery settings window is a floating window that can remain open all the time if you desire. It can roll up automatically when not in use. To change whether or not it will stay open or roll up, click the small arrow button in the top right corner. To close the window, click the X button in the top right corner. There are several settings in the embroidery settings window. Each is relevant to the type of recipe you have selected, whether it is a column fill, a normal fill, running stitch, or a satin line. The most common setting is the density setting. It controls how close together the stitches will be. This is measured by the distance between rows of stitching. It is measured in tenths of millimeters. For instance, the default setting of 4 means that the distance between rows of stitching is 4 tenths of a millimeter apart. This means the lower the density value, the more stitches there are in a specific area. Typical density values range from about 3.5 to 4.5 for most embroidery applications. Underlay can also be controlled by the embroidery settings. Underlay is a loose pass of stitching to secure the fabric and create a good foundation for the top stitching to sit upon. Embroidery Studio gives you three types of underlay to choose from depending on what tool is chosen. They are central underlay, fill underlay, and edge walk underlay. Central underlay is only available for the column recipe. It places a running stitch down the center of a column of stitches. Fill underlay creates a zigzag pattern of underlay. You can adjust the fill underlay density to control how close together the rows of underlay are. The edge walk underlay creates a running stitch underlay around the edge of the shape. When the stretch setting is checked, Embroidery Studio takes the outline and stretches the stitching by the amount set in the stretch percentage setting. This is used to compensate for distortion caused by push and pull of the fabric. You can automatically put a border around any shape by checking either the running stitch outline or the satin stitch outline. If you use the satin stitch outline, you can also control the width of the outline by changing the value next to the setting. To change the color of the border, click on the color next to the outline color. To apply any changes you make, click the apply button at the bottom of the embroidery settings window. Some settings in the embroidery settings window are specific to a particular digitizing tool. The short stitches setting defaults on for anything created with the column tool. It will shorten some of the stitches in a sharp curve shape to prevent the stitches on the inside of the curve from cutting the fabric. For normal fill areas, you can degrade the density in an area to a fading appearance for the stitching. If you're unsure what settings to use, there are preset values you can use. To access these, click on the drop-down menu at the top of the embroidery settings window and select Preset Fabrics. 
a separate window will open that will allow you to select the type of item you're working with and then the specific fabric of the item. Then click OK. Embroidery Studio will automatically put the preset values in for you. Remember, you can apply any changes you make to embroidery settings simply by clicking the Apply button. You can also select the stitch type from the embroidery settings window. Just click the stitch type tab, then click on the type of stitch you desire. Below the stitch types, there are settings that pertain to the specific stitch type you have selected, such as the step length for a step satin stitch. This is the length of each stitch across the area for a step satin or fill stitch. Other settings will appear depending on which stitch type you select. These settings govern how that stitch type will be applied. Once you have selected your stitch type and adjusted the settings, click Apply. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. There are additional videos in this series, so please check my channel to view those videos. I have also written an in-depth guide called Digitizing with PSW Deluxe Embroidery Software that contains greater detail than is in these videos. You can purchase this guide from my website at www.tanyaowens.com slash PSW Deluxe. That information is also in the description below. Until next time, happy digitizing. Thank you.